Hello and welcome to the Jared Muntz Soccer Podcast. My name is Jared Muntz, founder of collegerecruitingwebsite.com and onlinesocceracademy.com, and as always, I'm your host. Today is Monday, May 16th, 2011, and today's guest is Indy Cowie. Indy is a 16-year-old female phenom freestyle juggler, a high school junior, and she's already committed to play college soccer for the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill. Indy Cowie has been featured recently in the New York Times, appeared on Good Morning America, ESPN, and countless other TV and news publications. She did a solo freestyle halftime show in front of 75,000, let me repeat that, 75,000 fans at a Manchester United vs. Chelsea game. I was just in the intro listing off your uh, excellent accomplishments, and uh, so many exciting things are happening to you just on a, like, a weekly basis almost. How exciting is it to be Indy Cowie right now? Oh, it's amazing. It's just really, you know, incredible to have all the publicity and stuff like that. It's just, like, weird to, you know, like, is it really, like, me that this is all happening to? It's just kind of crazy. <laughs> well, just so everyone in the audience is familiar, um, what what is freestyle? And can you define that for us briefly? Um, I consider freestyle soccer like an art. It's just, there's no right and wrong um, just endless the possibilities and stuff that you can do with the ball. Just be creative, uh, just, you know, doing keepy uppies and juggles and just see what you can get from it. Well, when, uh, when you did your first, when did you do your first freestyle and, and when did all this crazy press attention start happening? Um, well, I've been, I've been able to juggle since I was really, really little, just for like ball control and stuff like that. But, um, I seen John Farmworth when I was about 11 and uh, he was a world champion at that time, and it's just the stuff he could do was absolutely unbelievable. So I just, you know, that's what I wanted to do. I knew from that day on that's what I wanted to do. So I've just been practicing ever since. Well, all right, so let me rephrase that a little bit. When did you do your first freestyle show? Um, My first freestyle what, show? Halftime show, and then when did all this, like, just ESPN, Good Morning America, when did all that coverage start happening? Um, I think my first kind of show was, like, a competition with Red Bull when I was 14. Um, it was like the top 16 in the U.S., and I was the only girl there, so it was really cool. But, um, just recently, I was in the New York Times, and so once that got published, it's just, everything's just kind of blown up since then. Yeah. How many hours a day do you practice freestyle, and what's the new move you're working on right now? Um, I pra try and practice for, like, an hour and a half a day, just depends, you know, with schoolwork and club soccer and stuff, but, um, I'm trying to work on a poly right now. You... I've landed it a few times, but it's getting your ball, like getting your foot around the ball three times without touching it. Well, being being like you know, uh, besides being a great freestyler, you're also a really good soccer player. Um, you've already committed to play college soccer at UNC Chapel Hill. You're only a junior. UNC is like top women's team in the country. Why did you pick UNC, and how did that come about? Um, I've always wanted to go to UNC. You know, just being part of that soccer dynasty and the things that they've accomplished. I want to be with the best and win national championships. So just the whole UNC aspect just really excites me. So getting to be a part of that dynasty and family is just, you know, and, amazing. And, and how, how did that happen? Did you just send the coach there your freestyle video and say, hey, I'd like to play for you? Or did they come see you at a local game? Or how that Yeah, start? I asked them to come out and watch training. So they came out and watched me and then... That's so cool. You, what's your national team status right now? I, I searched out the under-17s and under-18s for the women's national team U.S. and didn't see you in that. Or, no, you... I, uh, I've actually got a chance to play for Scotland, the U.S. over when I lived in uh, Scotland last last year. So, okay. yeah, a couple cats from our country and stuff. So it was um, crazy. That's awesome. That's exciting. So, yeah, it was, it was crazy. It's incredible. So, are you... Do you have your choice between the U.S. and Scotland, or you already chose Scotland, or how can we persuade you to come back to the U.S. <laughs> um, I have dual citizenship, so until you know I get picked for a full national team, I can choose between either. Okay, I don't know Coach P of the women's team, but I, I know someone who knows some knows her, and I, I might have to email her and like <laughs> get get your uh, interview background looking more like a national team for the U.S. <laughs> and not Scotland over there. At Sparrow Soccer on Twitter. And he runs SparrowMovement.com. He asks, how do you feel your freestyle affects your soccer game? Um, definitely helps with first touch and control. Just And then, like, ball, you know, being with the ball at time just helps you, like, you know, maybe just, like, feel connected with it, more connected on the field. Lucy Johnson's one of our online soccer academy players, and she asks, what is the coolest place you have performed? Oh, my goodness. There's been so many. I probably have to definitely... 
uh, at Celtic Stadium, Parkhead, and then uh, Manchester United Stadium, Old Trafford. Those two were incredible. Man, were, were player? did you get to meet any of the players? Uh, yeah, actually, when I was in uh, Parkhead, the team was training before, and uh, they were, you know, like Robbie Keane and them, and they were like bowing down, they are like, Messi, Messi, it was, it was, it was insane, because like, I look up to these guys, so for them to be like complimenting me, it was just crazy. Yeah, I was gonna say, what's it like when you ask them for autographs? Are they are y'all like swapping each other's pens? Like you want theirs and they want yours, and you just do an equal swap, or how does that work? Yeah, I guess. Um, well, what's on your uh, what's on your wish list to perform at? Uh, just in front of like you know, like Messi and stuff like that. I'd love to meet him. He's incredible. So <laughs> if I could perform in front of Messi. That'd be like my dream. Uh, nice. I'm sure it'll be happening soon. Thank you.